Honda answers questions in clever ways. For instance, their Ridgeline pickup is filled with innovative features and rides in a more refined fashion than any midsize pickup I've ever driven. However, it used to look like this, and that was not trucky enough for truck buyers. All hail the mid-cycle refresh. And yes, it's very windy out here. Yep, to win over truck folk, the Ridgeline has donned a metaphorical belt buckle. In back, the updates are simple and include a restyled bumper and a new dual exhaust system. Oh, but up front, everything north of the front doors is new. New fenders, a new power bulge hood, <laughs> power bulge, new headlights, and a new larger grill. Plus, the track is 20 millimeters wider for a more hulking stance. This is my first time seeing the Ridgeline out in the real world, and I have to say, out under the sun, it does look brawnier. I'm not sure brawny and attractive are necessarily synonymous, but if this helps Honda sell more Ridgelines, more power to them. For a more potent visual assertion of ruggedness, consider the Honda Performance Development Appearance Package as seen on our tester. The HPD package adds a unique grille, nifty bronze wheels, HPD emblems, and these tacked on black fender flares for a cool $2,800. Personally, I'd skip the flares. For comparison, here's the non-HPD Ridgeline. I greatly prefer its looks, you might feel differently. Inside, not much has changed beyond some new contrasting stitching, reworked graphics for the 8-inch infotainment system, and the addition of a physical volume knob. That's about it for the mid-cycle updates, but the Ridgeline also possesses a range of compelling carryover traits. The interior is still plenty roomy and functional. Excess cargo fits well inside thanks to the 6040 flip-up rear seats. The tailgate bolt flips down and rotates around giving you easy access when you're loading things in the bed or access to the in-bed storage area. That's right, there's an in-bed storage area which is both roomy and has a drain plug at the bottom so you can use it as a big ice chest. And even though it isn't the biggest pickup truck bed in the world, the 5.4 inch bed on the Ridgeline can haul more than 1,500 pounds of payload. That's like me plus a couple of burritos. If you're motivated, you can do a lot with the Ridgeline's functionality, though I will say that loading motorcycles or cargo into the bed would be easier with a lower load floor. As for mechanical updates, there are none. But here's what you get. A 3.5 liter V6 matched to a nine-speed automatic transmission. Honda's iVTM4 torque vectoring all-wheel drive system comes standard and can send up to 70% of the engine's power to the rear wheels and 100% of that power to either the left or the right wheel as conditions demand. It's a neat system that yields good traction off-road and enhanced agility on-road. At peak urgency, the V6 pulls eagerly. You can also use that V6 grunts to tow. Just be sure to keep it below the Ridgeline's 5,000 pound max. I'll also note that even though it looks tougher, the Honda Ridgeline basically drives like a Honda Pilot SUV with a bed on the back because that's basically what it is. If you want a pickup truck with a fully independent suspension and the ride plushness that comes with it, this is your only choice. Speaking of choices, compared to the Ford Ranger, GMC Canyon, Toyota Tacoma, and Chevrolet Colorado, the Honda Ridgeline is far more expensive with a starting price around $36,500, not including destination charges. For perspective, you can grab a Colorado or Ranger for about twenty-five dollars Granted, the cheapest Ridgeline is far better equipped and more premium feeling than a base Colorado, but you can also find more powerful engines, greater towing capacities, better fuel economy, and more body style choices from the Ridgeline's competition. Oh, and that new Nissan Frontier looks pretty cool. If you believe in the it has to hurt to be effective school of pickup truck ownership, then the Ridgeline's refined manners might not be your style. But if you're open to driving a pickup truck with a quiet cabin and comfortable road feel, the Honda Ridgeline is a pleasing, non-traditional solution. In total, the Ridgeline is a unique player in the mid-sized pickup truck category. Am I enamored with its new style? I mean, it's okay, but maybe truck fans will like it. And that's fine. Honda, you dress up your pickup however you like. But please, don't stop answering questions in clever ways. 